Hi, I'm Tony, your Pop Pops Workshop. So a little while back I did a, uh, a video uh, showing some of the different gadgets that we recently got into the shop. And I thought what I would start is a regular segment. Uh, don't know how frequently we'll have them out, but start with uh, a tool, a gadget, maybe a grouping of uh, gadgets or tools that we use in the shop, why we use them, and then to see if you guys have any similar products that you found useful, you could leave a comment in the video and then I might have something else to add to my collection or it might help out other viewers as well. So today uh, we're going to start with some marking tools and uh, we'll take a minute here and bring you in and we'll just discuss some of the marking tools that we use in the shop and why we use them. All right, marking tools, a variety of marking tools. Um, one that uh, some guys use is a marking knife. Uh, and the reason being is uh, maybe you make a measurement over so far, now you put that marking knife in there. And even though you can't see it like you can a pencil, I can stick that right back in there, run that right to where my square is at. And now I have a nice line that I've been able to cut the fibers with. So if I want to saw that or do anything else with that, those fibers have been cut. And I can just drag that and catch that line every time. Boom, it's right there. So uh, marking knife is very handy if you want a definitive line that's easy to find when you bring it over to line up a square. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to use. So use a marking knife, very handy. This is a Pika marker. Uh, many of you have seen them. This kind of sticks in your pouch. Handy little sharpener on the end. You should get that uh, dull lead. Need to sharpen it up a little bit. Uh, but they use some nice thick leads which are easier. You might notice this one is equipped with a white lead. Uh, what I specifically use this for in our shop is uh, with white, yellow, red refills you can get with these. Uh, on walnut or some darker woods like maybe a wenge, you can get a nice, uh, I don't know if it'll show up very well here, we'll try it. So you can get a very clear white line in a darker wood. That makes it easier for me to see than, say, a pencil line. So uh, they're handy. You can put black lead in there, but we always run with white, or red, or yellow. And you can get those in packs. In fact, we grabbed that at the uh, local Woodcraft, so that was handy there. Sharpie markers. We use a couple different kinds of Sharpies in here. This is a construction-grade Sharpie that kind of writes on just about anything. Uh, greasy non-greasy so sometimes if you're uh, you know using a little bit of metal in the shop maybe it's a little greasy or something you want to put a mark on there to cut with uh, i highly advise you grab a pack of these they're great for that and regular sharpies are very handy a little thicker line but uh, again it's it's there until you sand down a little ways to get it out so sharpie markers are coming handy for a variety of marking tasks in our shop that when we want it to be permanent uh, we also use uh, these Sharpie gel pens at times. So this one's not working very well, maybe because I didn't take the cap off. It's kind of new. So they're not bad. They really stand out. So some guys like using pens. Uh, occasionally we'll use them. But uh, most of the time we're going to be using pencils. And it can come in a variety of ranges. Now, the construction carpenter's pencil is probably one we use the least, uh, but we keep them around just in case. They're handy, I put them down, they don't roll away. Uh, if I need to describe something, say I were doing a cabinet or something, need to describe it in there, this is a specific width, as is this. So if I want to scribe that much, or I want to scribe that much, I can just lay the pen in there, and there we go. We can pen, do the center, we can do the center, or we can just run something else along that. So it's handy as a scribe or anything else you might think of to use that with. Sometimes it makes a nice little uh, setback or a little shim of, of types. And then we got this at a home show. It's a little thicker pencil. I kind of like it. It's kind of handy if I just need a secondary pencil, an extra pencil to grab. It's always in my pouch. I can grab it and use it. But most of the time, we're using this Graph Gear 1000. It's a 0.9 millimeter lead. So 
a little thicker, but very handy. They have them in several different colors. This is the yellow. So if you're looking, the yellow is, say, 0.9, um, I believe. Let me double check, make sure I'm not telling you the wrong thing. Looks like 0.9 to me. So they've got a 0.5 and a 0.7. I got the 9 because it's a little thicker lead. It's easier for me to see, which is uh, one of the problems I oftentimes have. But if I need a fine line, again, I'm going to go back to the marking knife, which leaves a very fine point on that marking knife. And the bevel edges allow me to stay away from those as well. So this is probably my go-to marking utensil in the shop. It's uh, very easy. And... It closes down that way, so it kind of protects the lead, which is a very handy feature on this. So marking utensils come in a variety of things, and I'm sure you probably have several others that are your favorites. These are just the ones we use in the shop for a few different tasks, a few different things. Uh, so what do you use? All right, so marking tools. If you use any of these, and I missed something about a useful tip or trick to using one of these, please go down in the, in the comments, let me know what it was. Uh, if there's something different that you use, a uh, special pen or pencil that you found very useful in your shop, again, in the comments, just let us know. And hopefully you found Gadget Corner useful. I'm going to uh, probably do a series of these over time. I'll put them in their own little playlist, make it easier for you to go through. And again, thank you for watching. Appreciate that you do watch and try never to take that for granted. And we thank you for spending your time here with us in the workshop. So remember, you can do this.